Oh, okay. Ready to fly. Yeah! Hey, welcome to Mesa RC Phone Fights. Me, Mr. Marshall, and I got Jack and Jake here. These are my Healy experts during the uh, Mesa RCF class. Um, we got a, a really cool addition to the Quad Lux fleet, and it's legit. We have a fleet of Quad Lux. Danny takes care of us, doesn't he? Yes. Um, Danny over at Quad Lux sent us a uh, mini track. Um, that was all decked out. It's got the um, KK2 board on there. It's got the um, uh, was it 2208 14 motors on what size props, Jack? Eight by three. Eight by three. Yes. Eight by three. Um, he's got us uh, a regular um, quad uh, quad ESC in there, but he's only got it going to the three different uh, motors. Um, but the cool thing was to see how was he going to take. The mechanism in the back, and to make this actually function, Jack wants to talk about because he actually did a really good job. Okay. On this. So here it is, and it's a really durable plastic construction, and doesn't look 3D printed at all. Um, really nice linkages that set up here with the wire controls, and here's a screw that goes into the main connection to the boom. As you see, we have a really nice servo on here, but even though it's still a really smooth moving. Um, tilt rotor connection. It has so simplistic. Yes. It makes it so easy. Um, some of the stuff that we've worked with before was always kind of complicated. Mm -hmm. um, and he did a good job engineering this to make it, you know, as, as, as easy as possibly can. I almost want to try to get two of these, even just buying these, the mounts themselves, and doing one of those like a... Bicopter. Yeah. Wouldn't that be cool? Yes. Do a bicopter. Uh, so Danny, maybe here's your next challenge is, is to take, now that you have this engineered uh, to perfection over here, take that and make a bi quad lug copter. Yeah. Right? And I also really like how it has the, it holds the servo in really nicely right here. Yeah. And it exposes. You can actually get to it. Yeah. You know, some of them are kind of hidden. For maintenance or, on the... Right. Yeah, that's good. And then Jake, you were able to fly it. How'd you like it? I thought it was really easy because the it was, was very stable. Wouldn't mm -hmm. want to like you wouldn't feel the, you wouldn't see very many, much vibrations through it. Mm -hmm. And I think that's why he has the tape on there. Yeah, and he he did um he just did this stock. I mean, he didn't do anything different uh, to the um, to the KK2 board. Um, no changes in the uh, mixer editor, nothing like that. It was just straight out of the box. Go get the tricopter, go out and fly, and and it, and it was perfect. All still out of the quad lug uh, construction, right, guys? Nothing new besides the um, the swivel in the back. Um, but other than that, Dan, you've got a great product here, and um, that, I think that would be our next um, challenge to you. Now that you you've got the the mechanism for it to make a a bi quad lug copter, I think that'd be really cool, um, especially for us to get into. Because I know there's a couple kids who want to get into that kind of uh, that kind of setup for their quads. Um, or bicopters, uh, multi rotor. What do you call it? Bicopter. Bicopter? Isn't that what they're called? Yeah, I think so. Uh, they know more than I do. Um, but other than that, great product, and we're going to give this uh, to uh, Nick. Nick is our pilot for uh, Elite, and he's going to take the uh, mini tricopter up and, um, and fly this bad boy around. Nick, what do you think? And that might be something we can fix too in the yeah. KK board. Yeah. 
<laughs> what about orientation? Can you see it okay? So, uh, what do you think? It's very stable, nice and smooth. It's got slight tail oscillations, but probably programming, something you can change with a little programming. It's got great visibility and plenty of power for only having three rotors. Right. Very cool. And so you were able to, um, you know, maneuver it and you're like, what were you calling that? How you're just kind of going in circles? It's called a pyro. A pyro? A pyro pirouette. Okay. Which is just spinning. Spinning. And, and then most, uh, actual helicopter tricks involved using that in flips and stuff. Cool. Awesome, bud. So would you recommend this to, you know, for other people to get into? Yes, very much. Cool. I might have to build myself one. Awesome. Well, Quad Lugs, Danny, uh, you know, you got yourself a good product here, man. Um, you know, with this uh, mechanism in the back, seem to be uh, very durable and, um, and, and easy to work with. And it's, it's a mini, so it's small. Um, you know, I'm sure that we can extend this and get it out on bigger booms and, and you know, get some different characteristics of flight and stuff. But uh, other than that, Danny, you got yourself a good product, bud. Uh, we highly encourage you guys to go and shop at Quad Lux for any of your um, uh, tricopter or quad lug needs. And uh, because they do sponsor the, the Mesa RC Foam Fighters uh, tremendously. I mean, I don't know if, if we would even get as far as we can in the multi rotor um, realm if it wasn't for those guys. So um, check them out, quadlugs.com, and uh, get yourself a tricopter today. Cool. Thanks for watching.